Hey everybody, how it goes? My name's Jimor, and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. Uh, right where we left off in the theater, just turned the power on, and I got the key for the door. I'm wondering what's in here. Alright. Oh yeah, this is a place that's gonna be a shootout or something. Can't go into the seats, so anything I would guess is a weird theater, honestly. Where's the screen for the projector? It's back there. You got some horrible seating. People in the back would be look like would be like they're watching on their phone, which is not something I like to do. Yeah, some stale popcorn. There's nothing in the seats here. I tried. Got no parts by the tools, really. Like this. Uh, spooky. <sighs> no way. What? Guitar. Okay. <sighs> you can tell she thinks of Joel every time she sees a guitar. Now what are we going to play? Wait. It's always mistuned the same way. That's so weird. I like that sound though. Watching the opening when Joe played that and knowing how awkward that whole like conversation was, that was really Joe basically saying he's lonely. That was a call to Ellie saying he's lonely. And how important she was to him. And there were three years earlier. What's with the time skipping? Storm sound like so. Oh, I suck. Just need to build up your calluses, that's all. Yeah. Joe, buddy, he's back. All right, come on. Is this it? Yeah. Oh, shit. I get to be with Joe again. Yay. I'm going to start guessing. Do you want to spoil your surprise now? Oh, no. Yeah, this is like the Last of Us it's DLC. I don't think we're gonna have any. Stop trying to guess. I don't think we're gonna have any uh, action right. here. Is it an elephant? <sighs> is it a convertible? You're not gonna guess. Is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? 
What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. Yo. Hi. I miss you. Mind your step. I got it. Oops. Ah! <laughs> he obviously taught her how to swim. Now this is us, but we're gonna be swimming soon. <laughs> You should see your face right now. What am I drown? I got to drown. You got to work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. See what happens. Hey, this way. <sighs> Worst. Your swimming's getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You got to push gotta... the water with your whole arm. Blah blah blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Push him, push him, push him, push him, push him, do it, push him. Make sure you say oops. Looks like. No, he didn't say oops. <laughs> Take that, old man. How's that feel? <laughs> Refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. Oh. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. <laughs> now, come on. This is great. Uh. <laughs> Geronimo. Hey. You're going to need to dive under here. Take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. Yay. That was the best part so far. This is fun. He's such a dad. I missed The Last of Us 1 now. It was full of these fun moments. I'm all wet though. Look what you did to me, old man. Is it... my 6th grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the Fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. It's hard when they're dicks. <laughs> Point still stands. <laughs> Where are you taking me? I'm not here? Yeah. Is it a new pair of sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. No. She's a teenage girl, all right. More sneakers. I'm gonna hand your old man. Here. No, this is gonna make me sad. Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. But, like, is it a... Massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? Yes. That's a, which one? Just... Yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. Oh, God. Those went out of style before the outbreak. Who the hell's telling you about those? It is a dinosaur. Holy shit, Joel. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! And <laughs> it is. Joel! Oh, it's even in the Jurassic Park pose. Holy shit. Oh, oh that is it's awesome. Fucking dinosaur. King of the tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. <laughs> That's a big boy. <laughs> That's uh, so precious. Dina, how long did you know her? So I'm not supposed to take a guess at these campfire scenes for four years? Camping trip for my birthday. They're very proud of themselves. S Smug and foggy. 
Oh, smug old fogey. So that's cat. That's when he gave him tattoos, right? Woman rotation. That's a really good painting or picture. You're pretty neat. Tommy Joel was really good. That's a big boy. Oh man, this is the coolest. I love this part. Can I climb it? I'm climbing it. What are you doing? I'm riding a dinosaur. Be, be careful. I'm climbing a dinosaur. Yeah, I can see that. Just don't die falling off of one. Look at me. I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Don't jump. Just climb down. Yeah, we got to jump, aren't we? Ah! Hey, hey. I'm barely deep enough. Yeah, so I need to give him oh, a heart attack. Isn't it awesome? It's awesome that you didn't break anything. Oh, that was awesome. This is the best part of the game. I don't care. Wyoming Museum of Science and History. Oh, how did you find this place? <laughs> Maria. She, uh, she told me about it. Figured it'd be right up your alley. I ain't looking for Figured it. Figured right. Like giants oh, of the past. This? Where I, did I see uh, that? It's a book? It's a dinosaur book. Mm, okay. Alright. I saw one of them somewhere. Was that in her garage? House? Yeah, this is cool. This is, this is the best. Oh, man. You want to try it on? I do not. Hmm. You're lost. I got a hat. Oh, hell yeah. I got a hat. What's this? Aw. Wish that worked. This is cool. Spinosaurus. No, nope, Baryonyx. I don't think Baryonyx are that big. There's Spinosaurus. These are Utah Raptors. Lost raptors aren't actually as big as they are in Jurassic Park. Utah raptors are oh, more that size. Look at those talons. That is a velociraptor. That is wrong. Actually, it's a de... Deinonychus. Deinonychus. I'm pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they called them in this movie I saw. Jurassic Park. Hmm. <sighs> If he starts quoting Jurassic Park, oh my god, I'm gonna lose it. This is so good. I didn't know Deinonychus was that big. I thought they were smaller. Yo, oh, this is so cool. This is the best part. Nice butt. You hear what I'm looking at? You take a seat. Apparently. <coughs> Oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. Oh, bird. It's for you. Very funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Did you get it? It's because you're old. No, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he gets it. That was a solid burn. This is so cool. I love it. Oh, we need a coin. So cool. Come Sagnathus. What they think they were brown and white now? Come no. Sognathus. Whew. It's a big they'd be, little, guys. They'd be shades of green, even feathered in a knot. Did you see that in a movie too? Actually, yeah. But a different one. See the second one. 
Wasn't as good. <laughs> oh, Joe, man after my own heart. He feels the same way. I think of the original trilogy, it's 1, 3, 2 without a doubt. 2 has way too many logical errors for me. Oh, this is... I would love to go to another museum for dinosaurs. It's been so long. Tiny head. <laughs> Joel, look! <laughs> that is a hat on a dinosaur. That's funny. It's called a hatosaur. Ah. A stegosaur is nice. That's funny. A hatosaur. Whoa. This one's brain was the size of a walnut. No, no way. Looks like you two have something in common. Oh, oh more God. burns. Hey, good one. Oh, so many burns. Okay, that looks like an exit, so we go this way. Hey, is this gonna be a thing? Yes. Please don't let it be a thing. It's a thing. <laughs> it's happening, Joel. Must put hat on everything. Winnie. Triceratops means three horned face. You would not want to be on the business end of that horn. No. I got big smile on my face. Triceratops. This is one I recognize. Hey, am I going to get a dialogue thing for Jurassic Park? Huh? Well, don't worry, you'll get your hat soon. What's this? Ooh, of course. Coffee. Check the bathrooms. Got a mirror. This is just silly. But I got a hat. That's the most important thing. And it's going on that thing's head. Oh, this is this is the best. I love this. Where is the placard for you? No name here. Tiny Moses. My friend was he was going to get me a Mosasaur fossil, part of a jaw, for my birthday on Friday the 26th of June. I don't know when this one's going up. But when he went to order it, they ran out. Hat time. Whatever floats your boat. This does. Floats it all day. It actually looks good on him. He looks good with that hat. I would love to have a skull like that in my house somewhere. Demetrodon, however you say it. The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. It's an apex predator. The most badass predator. How do you not know that, Joel? I'm pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? Joel should know what that means. What do we have here? Gallimimus. Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. I, who names these? Scientists. Well, they're dumb. <laughs> I need to give it a hat, though. No, it needs to wear a hat. Man. All right, big feller. Your turn. Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Ooh, imagine the poops. Yeah, there's one scene where uh, actually one of the guys said, that's a big mound of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what I remember is this that. Movie, yeah. And when can we see it? Tell you what, when we get back to Jackson, movie night. They have one? Great. 
Also, wasn't recently found out that they had the wrong head on Brachiosaurus? And when they had to change it and it changed its height or something? Ooh, ooh, that's a fifty cent word. But before I go up the stairs, I want to go to this end. Footprints. Here's a Velociraptor. There you go. Joel, this is uh, the one you were talking about, the Velociraptor? So small. Well, don't touch the movies, I guess. Yeah, the story is that Spielberg liked the name Velociraptor better because Utah Raptor is not very scary, but the size of the Utah Raptor is what was good for the movie. <laughs> Guanadon. Allosaurus, T-Rex, and hey, Pachycephalosaurus. Look how thick this one's skull is. Kind of looks like Tony. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. Bird. Get you in the right light. Boom, Tony. Parasaurolophus. Oh, this, this is the best part of the game. I'm taking my time. Oviraptor. It's close. Whoa, this one looks like a bird. Well, actually, paleontologists believe the birds were descended from dinosaurs. Well, excuse me, Mr. Professor. I happen to know a thing or two. From a movie. Keep going. <laughs> Hat. There better be a trophy for this. This is the greatest part of the game. There's another hat. You know what that means. Wait. I like the brown hat. Oh, I can't put it back on? Oh, well. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved him. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. <laughs> Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Hey! <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I see the appeal. Told you. But little did you know there's another hat I can wear. This hat's coming with me. I wonder how many hats. I wonder if there's like a thing where there's a bunch of hats laying around. Oh. It's not like Joe fell down the stairs. That was cool. The extinction, nothing about that. No, okay. Now there we go. Probably that thing still works. You know space? Space, hello space. Space! Space. <gasps> Did you know this was here? Cool, you don't like it. Um, we can head back. <laughs> oh, shut up. Cool. Turn the thingy. Oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? <clears throat> My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh, did you just have a stroke? <laughs> My Mercury. Very famous. Mother Mars. You got oh, okay. educated. I get it. That's pretty cool. This is pretty cool, actually. How far can this go? That's neat. 
Oh, there they are. He cheated. Hey, you cheater. Hey, Joel. Guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. Yeah, I remember that. Girl, you are smart. Thanks. Did they become super fly? What? No. Where's the fun in that? Whoa. Tell me another fun fact. Hmm. Astronauts say the moon smells like gunpowder. That is a fun fact. I heard that how one would, too. How would they? Oh well, they would take the moon samples back inside and smell them later, I guess. Not just that. It's the um. The moon dust is so fine it can actually get into the suits, which is amazing. And I heard that's where they were smelling it too. Okay, what's next? You tell me. Uh, quiz me. <laughs> I don't know. Saturn V. Who was the first person in space? Oh, it's easy. Yuri Gagarin. Gagarin? Is that Gagarin? I don't know how you say it. I've only read it, so. Anyway. Yeah, it's my life. He flew to space on April 12th, 1961. And she is Color smart. me impressed. Very smart. Moon. How many books have you read about this? Moon. You no, know how many I times want to talk to Joe. Moon? Uh, twice. Six times. Are yeah. you sure? Yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. I'm gonna make it seven. The weird thing is that we haven't been able to go back since. It's not like we learned everything we can about it. Now, it's like, oh, we'll get there in the next four years. We were there 40 years ago. Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. Hang on. Is this the real one? Well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I would say no. <laughs> this is great. I ain't leaving yet. You go to hell. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, satellites, uh-huh, space station, nice, nice, very good. Let's go look at some suits. Hi, little people. Uh-huh, nothing to say about it, sure, cool. Uh-huh, good, nice. You should have something to say about one of them. Helmet! Can I put a helmet on a dinosaur? <laughs> so cool. How does it smell in there? Like space. And dust. Space. Not gunpowder? Must be a moon helmet then. Let's try this one. Space. Yeah, first one was better. Let's try this one. Where are all the helmets? Yeah, there we go. Space. Space. Watch your head. Whoa. Moon's haunted. Bring your gun. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. 
This, this is the best part wow. of the game. As you look at all these buttons. Oh, it's so badass. <laughs> Man. Could you imagine just... <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. <laughs> Take it. What is it? Come on. Close your eyes. Is he recording at a launch? How the hell did he get it? Okay. Oh my god, that is cool. <laughs> How did he get that? This is so cool. This is gonna make me cry. This is fantastic, this part. I should have wore the American helmet though if I knew it was Paul 11. This is again just like the DLC when she imagined the game. That's, that is awesome. Oh, Joe was such a good dad. At this point, I would have preferred this game being nothing but flashbacks after Joel died. <laughs> this was so good. Oh, was so wholesome and heartwarming. Hey. This is what made oh, The Last of Us so good. Yeah. To begin with, just seeing the relationship and how well it was done. Oh. I gotta look on her backpack and see if that's on there when we get back. I see it. It's on the left there. Oh, man. That was so good. This whole sequence is amazing. This is what made The Last of Us great. This, this relationship dynamic and seeing it, the... Highs, the lows, the trials and tribulations, uh, care for each other. We missed out on that with Dina getting to Seattle. Ugh. Here. Nice. There's more museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? I mean, it wouldn't be hard to move this stuff and climb down. I guess we just jump. <gasps> never give anyone else this much grief. Yes. Get down here. No. Hey, whose birthday is it? <laughs> you can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. 
We've got more exploring to do. Geronimo! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, dang. you got some distance on you. Did I sketch the bear from over here? Hey, look, a pallet. Like old times. Look at that. Days are long gone, kiddo. Oh man, see, that's what made the game so good. It wasn't just the story; it was the relationship. And it's severely missing in this one. Bear, bear butt. There's a bear butt. I'm not gonna sketch the bear. Okay. Now we're fitting. Uh, there's gonna be like infected and stuff here. Hey, who's being there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. Oh, it's just like the first game again. I miss it. Oh, it's so good. All right. Go. There. Be careful and be smart. Bad news. There's shit blocking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll I'll walk around the outside. Okay, be safe. Yeah, I can attack and I have bullets. There are dinosaurs around. Yeah. <gasps> this is when things are gonna go a little bit south. This is just basically the first game. This is what the sequel would have been if I had a choice. Oh, uh, Joel. Oh, look at that. I killed for them. That's... Ooh. Stay strong, buddy. That's just... concerning. Buffalo. I bet they're booming in this apocalypse. Back to their old numbers. Goat. This guy needed a hug. Yeah, this is concerning. Oh boy. It's dark in here. Yes, it is. Four soldiers at the gate. The last one cried. Oh, this is not good. bullets the woman we tortured choked on her own blood Oof. what the I just shook it the stragglers who snuck into camp they just wanted food so these are people he killed. Come on, fucker. Uh, the kid who ran into the blast, I couldn't stop him. Well, that's not good. I'm not looking for crafting supplies. People in the van, we locked them in and doused it with gas. Jesus. I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble and Joel's gonna come in and help me. There's like two ways in here. Trust that way. I 
hear it. There is no light. Yeah, that's different in tone. Ooh, look, that is just... Oh, oh. Ooh, buddy. They tried to think about themselves. Our leaders kept saying it would be worth it. Nothing to show for our sins. Not coming here. My purpose. Mm hmm. Okay, so. There's something else in here besides the guy that got it's a very disturbing looking corpse. Ooh, hi, wolf. That is... Oh, look at the eyes. That's a nice detail, but it's also really creepy. <sighs> Wait a minute. Animals. I feel like one of these isn't fake. I don't like this. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, chicken out. I really don't like this. That these wolves freak me out. <laughs> Piggy. something else here. What scared the pig? Liars. I'm in here! It's fireflies, isn't it? Who was it? It's just some animal. Well, let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. What happened with the fireflies? Hmm. Something obviously happened that they turned on them. That, that was awesome. Seattle, day two. Do we have to go back to this? Can we rem reminisce some more? I hear voices. I kind of hear radio from here. Lost my hoodie. I have a feeling we're gonna something's gonna happen here. Uh, yeah, this is a good place to end it because that sequence was fantastic, and I really want to end this on a high note. This was, uh, I I said it before. What we just did is what made the first Last of Us so good. It was seeing. Joel and Ellie's, there's a pin there. I see it. It was seeing Joel and Ellie's relationship grow over their journey and to see them come close together and care about each other. And that was more important than the story itself, in my opinion. Because a lot of the story you wouldn't care if you did not care about these characters. When they got to... Where was the first stop? St. Louis at the university. When they got there and you had that moment with the giraffe and that was just, it was so touching. You had this gorgeous moment looking at the giraffe and it was just a real nice moment between Joel and Ellie. And then you had the fight. 
and then Joe got pushed off the edge and impaled on that thing and I was nearly in tears the first time I played that. I was so scared that that's what they were going to do. Like it was going to be like here's this nice loving touching moment that you will remember for years to come. Now we're going to take Joel away in a very painful and slow way. Like now in 2020 I could compare it to Near Automata where you marched to be to her death. That's what it felt like to play as Joel when he got impaled there and you were trying to get out of the university. It felt like his death march and that was going to be it. And then when it cuts to like that winter and you're playing as Ellie before you got back, I'm just, I was just in my head. I was probably saying it out loud too. I was just going, Ellie, where's Joel? What happened? Tell me what happened, Ellie, please. Don't, don't say he's gone, please. I was so upset because I cared about them so much. But now here we are and I just have Ellie. Joel's already gone in a death scene that people on Twitter and all are saying it was so brutal and shocking and they tipped their hand really early. Like you knew Abby was after a he. We knew two he's in the entire story. Except for that, what I can't remember his name is, Johnny? The guy that woke up Ellie. I don't know who he is, didn't care. It's probably the one that got Dina pregnant. So we knew of Tommy and Joel. Well, they both did a lot of rough stuff back in the day. So it could have went after any of them. But as soon as he got to the part with Joel and Tommy saving her, and you saw a very clear reaction when he said Joel... You knew what was going to happen. Right there, that pause that she did and just stared at him. Done. That's who she's after. You knew he was going to die because you knew everything else. You knew she had a group. She said, let's go there. They're going to the group. So now she has numbers on her side. You knew what was going to happen. You didn't know how, but you knew it was going to happen. It wasn't a surprise or a shock. As people say, what's well, even that brutal? Because we didn't see it. I, I just think, imagine if... Like, since we play as Abby, I don't know if we're going to be playing her as a, again yet, but if we do, imagine if you played as Joel, or at least in the scene, Joel fought back. I don't want the hint. Go away. Joel fought back, and he took a few of them with him. Like, he killed a few of them before they got him restrained and then started beating him even if the whole thing like the whole fight he just started losing after a while because there are just too many of them and by the time Ellie gets there you know he's killed a few but he lost the fight and he ends up dying they kill him that would have been better because you'd still have that hope during the scene that he has a chance to get out of it and then like I said if we play as Abby again there could be more drama to it because there could be a splintering of the group. We already know that one guy didn't want to do it because the city was there. They're afraid too many people would come after them. Well, now you'd have them losing people. And you'd have me a splinter in their group that were like, it wasn't worth losing these people. These were our friends that are gone now just because you wanted to get revenge from one guy. And you could have this splintering of people on Abby's side and people that don't like what they did. And that can add more drama to this because you can be playing as Ellie going after these people. And when she gets to the people that regret doing it, she cannot care and still kill them. And that would be the dark tone that everybody says this game has. Like that would be much better in my opinion. Let's save over this. Anyway, I'm going to end this one here. Uh, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed if you did enjoy it, hit the like button, subscribe for more. It helps me out a lot. And as always, in one way, I can't switch my stuff. I can open that, but I can't switch my weapons. I can aim, but it's not letting me do anything. So something's definitely going to happen. That'll be in the next video, but I'll see you guys later.